Well, today we're going to talk about things you didn't know about. Let's go. Old Disney classics have unforgettable music, atmosphere, terrific stories, repetitive scenes that- Wait, what? Yeah, if you look closely, it becomes clear that the movements of completely different characters from completely different cartoons are exactly the same. Probably every person noticing this for the first time feels a little cheated. But it's not about the laziness of the animators at all. In the past, Disney has often used old animation to save money on film. However, some people who also did animation at the time think that such an approach was incredibly time-consuming, complicated, and probably pointless. How you feel about Disney copying itself is up to you. I find it kind of amusing. After watching horror movies, are you afraid of the elevator doors accidentally slamming shut at the most unexpected moment? Then a continuous action elevator is just what you need. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's okay, it's all dangerous. Don't worry, you can stay. Calm just down, calm down. Ah, ah. It doesn't stop to drop off passengers, it has no doors, and the motion is continuous. Whether or not you manage to get off is up to you. You may have to jump. There is a risk of accidentally falling out on the way or losing a limb. What? You choose a normal one? Well, as you like. Fireworks originated around the 12th century in China, but over such a long period of time, people just couldn't leave things unchanged. One day, someone apparently said, hey, what if we made daytime fireworks? And they did. Instead of glowing elements, they used multicolored smoke, and altogether it looks like a holocolor color festival launched into the sky. Have you ever seen a plane break the sound barrier? Watch closely. As the fighter jet accelerates, a dense cone of condensation begins to form around it. It appears as if the plane is tearing up space. Well, this isn't the sound barrier. What you see is called Prandtl Glorare Singularity, or condensation of atmospheric moisture behind an object moving at near sonic speeds. In other words, the fighters were close to breaking the sound barrier, but they didn't. It's extremely difficult to visually register a sonic boom when an airplane reaches supersonic speed. You'd need special equipment and special conditions, and it'd look something like this. An air show and an iPhone camera, even if it's the latest model, are definitely not an option. The internet loves cute and weird creatures. In 2015, its favorite was a little creature that looked like a rabbit and a caterpillar. The underwater caterpillar rabbit. Well, you get the idea. Social media just went crazy. The creature that has caused the size of adoration around the world is the sea slug Jaruna parva. Most are less than 0.6 inches long and are found everywhere from South Africa to the Central Pacific. Because of the tiny needle-like structures, the slug looks like it's covered in soft fur. No, you can't touch it. Scientists don't know exactly what these things are for, most likely they're sensors. There are sensory organs in the form of ears on the head of the mollusk, their function is to detect chemicals in the water, and gills at the back of the body are shaped like a flower or an unusual rabbit's tail. Can this creature be any stranger? Easily. It's a hermaphrodite. It lives only a few months and it can be incredibly toxic. Any predator who eats a sea rabbit will regret it very quickly. When you begin to study various natural phenomena, you understand why in ancient times people came up with various mythical explanations for everything. The reality of some things is simply impossible to believe, especially when you look at them from space. Using cameras and X-ray detectors aboard the International Space Station, researchers recorded a phenomenon called the Blue Jet. It's an atmospheric electrical discharge similar to lightning that lasts only a few hundred milliseconds. You can't see it with the naked eye even on Earth, let alone in space, but the images look like it's a sci-fi movie. It seems that somewhere down there, someone's having fun with a tesseract, or something like that. Perhaps a portal to another world is about to open. In fact, scientists are still not entirely sure exactly what happens in the sky when blue jets appear there and how it happens. It's hard to study a phenomenon that disappears faster than you can blink. Japan is an amazing yet rather compact country. Its area is 145.9138 square miles, and not all of this space is for living. No wonder the population density in the cities is off the charts. There are a lot of buildings, and now you have to add public transportation to all that somehow. You can't put it underground all the time, you'll run out of space. And many streets in Japan are too narrow for buses to turn freely on them, so they installed this in dead ends.
It looks like a revolving stage in a theater, or a plate in a microwave oven. And you have to admit, it's just genius. Seriously, the longer I look at these platforms, the more convinced I am that only the Japanese could have invented this. And now, a really creepy thing. In the winter of 2014, the Sir Darya River in South Kazakhstan burst its banks, flooding pastures and killing livestock. According to preliminary estimates, three herds of horses and dozens of camels went underwater. The places where the animals used to graze turned into a huge ice cemetery. Everything alive seems to have died, even snakes. They say locals were warned about the danger of flooding, but hardly anyone could have imagined how frightening the consequences would be. Okay, let's talk about something more fun. For example, here's a fact you may have heard about. A rainbow only looks like an arc from Earth, but in fact, it's a circle. Full circle rainbows for today, huh? Look at that. A double 360. Of course, it's one thing to know this in theory, and quite another to see it with your own eyes. For a long time, people couldn't get high enough to see the whole rainbow. Can you imagine the surprise of the first people who did? Well, yeah, the plane's flying. Whoa! Did you see that? It's like watching a Marvel movie in real life. Wow! It's actually a Lockheed C-130 Hercules, American medium to long-range military transport aircraft that's so cool, it's known worldwide. It can use unprepared runways for takeoff and landing, and was originally designed as a landing, medical, and cargo transport aircraft. In short, an absolutely versatile airliner, which, if necessary, is equipped with rocket engines. And then, then it looks just incredible. An airplane that weighs more than 75,000 pounds goes up and down vertically, like a helicopter. Let's look at that again. Some people just don't like to be touched. Some animals don't either. But plants? Meet Mimosa pudica, or shame plant, native to Central and South America. It looks pretty ordinary, but the second you touch its leaves, yep, they close. In a nutshell, this happens because there are water membranes at the base of the stems, and there are sensory areas in the leaves that respond to pressure. On contact, water moves to this spot, and under its weight, the leaves curl and go down. Scientists are still not exactly sure why this happens. Maybe Mimosa hides from predators this way. Maybe it saves more moisture so it won't die during the hot season. Or maybe it's really ashamed. After all, you barely know each other. Many horses. I'm not kidding. They really do exist, as well as many pigs, small dogs, and all the other species that people have tried very hard for some reason to reduce. <laughs> But sometimes, in the process of breeding the perfect mini horse, genetics fail, and you get dwarf horses, just like this one. Look at it. It's smaller than a dog. It's also incredibly cute, like a toy horse. Unfortunately, dwarfism usually means health problems that affect life expectancy, although the oldest micro horse has lived 50 years. There's no way to know anything for sure. There are some things that will never cease to amaze me. One of them is the confluence of two masses of water, which is also visual. It can be seen in many parts of our planet, including one near the Indian town of Deba Prayag. Here the Bhagarathi and Alaknata rivers join to form the Ganges, sacred to Hindus. The water in the rivers has a different color due to the sources, the structure of the riverbed, and other factors. But the fact remains, not only believers, but also tourists in huge numbers come to see the great confluence. Because they're really is something to see here. Imagine an ordinary cedar cone. Now imagine it enlarged to the size of a soccer ball. No, even bigger. And it's not because of the environmental problems. That's what the cones of a tree called bunyan pine look like. What? Bunya? Bunya, bunya. It's coniferous, evergreen, and from the Jurassic period. So there are no more questions left. Back then, everything was huge. Trees, lizards, spiders, but we'll talk about that some other time. Bunya is still found in Australia, and its nuts are consumed as food. Cones can contain up to 100 nuts and weigh up to 22 pounds. And such a projectile is quite capable to fall onto someone's head when the season is right. Giant cones usually fall in May. So if you happen to be in Queensland or New South Wales at that time, look up more often. Bicycles are cool, they're environmentally friendly, they save you from traffic, they give you the same amount of exercise as the gym. The only problem is, where do you put them? I don't mean recycling, I've already talked about bike dumps in China, but where do you leave your eco-friendly vehicles when you go about your business? Automatic parking. To hell with bike locks and fences, all it takes is a couple of simple steps and the vehicle is already secured. These parking lots are multi-level and can be installed either above or below ground level. You want a bike tower? You know what to do.
You know that expression, the fastest gun in the West? Well, I don't know about the West, but Jerry Mikulik can, without exaggeration, be considered just about the fastest shooter in the world, at least in the modern world. Jerry's genius extends to various kinds of firearms. Revolver, semi-automatic pistol, rifle, shotgun. This guy seems to have an act for everything he shoots. But his main shooting accomplishments are related to speed shooting with a classic five-shot revolver. It takes Jerry 0.57 seconds to discharge the weapon. Mikulek currently holds five officially recognized world records and another 15 unrecognized. Anyway, that's not a guy I'd pick a fight with. We'll see you later.